In this lesson, we'll take a look at how to use the freeform deformation modifiers in 3ds Max. So here we have this uh, scientist character. Let's say we want to modify his face. If we take a look at the res, let's say that maybe the res is a little bit too much for the type of changes that we want to make to the shape. We don't want to get any kind of dents or anything, so we'd like to be able to, to modify this in sort of a, using a larger cage. And so the freeform deformer is going to help us do that. So we select any geometry that we want to be included in the deformation, and we go to the modifier list, and you'll find this FFD 2x2x2, 3x3x3, by two by two, three by three by three, all of these options here. This is basically, these numbers are basically the resolution of the control points, or how many control points there are going to be. If we add a 2x2x2, two by two by two, you can see that that's basically a cube. So that's good for, uh, if we want to modify some very basic shape changes. So if we open up that deformer, choose control points, we can access those control points and then when we move those it's actually affecting different areas of the model. So in this case this corner is just affecting this area right up here. You know this corner down here just affects this area down here. But you can see that the area of influence is very large because we have a low resolution uh, deformer here. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and try a 3 by 3 by 3 Okay, that'll give us a few more points so that if I now move this corner, you can see it's not affecting as much down here. Okay, we can also modify this to match our shape a little bit better. So if I go ahead and let's add one that's 4x4x4. Four by four by four. So right now it's just a box and it doesn't really match the shape of the head so that when I move this it's not really very exact. So what I can do is open this up, and instead of using the control points, I'm going to go to set volume. It's going to turn these points green, and now what I can do is just go ahead and move these a little bit closer to the surface that I'm going to be deforming. So in the front and back, I'll kind of just move those a little bit closer to the head. Maybe this will, I'll move this up closer to the chin. And so I'm just setting that deformation volume so that it's a little bit closer, and I'm not deforming anything yet. So it'll give me maybe a little bit more control over my deformation. If I come in, go ahead and bring these down, almost just like modeling a very low res mesh. Just kind of bring that down. Maybe these can come in a little bit farther. So this is not affecting the shape of the model yet. We're just affecting this volume. So now if I go up to the control points and move some of these out, you get a little bit more control because they're a little bit closer to the actual shape of the object that we have here. Now under display I can choose to display the lattice or the source volume. If I display the source volume it's kind of showing me the original undistorted un uh, volume there. I can also deform only what's inside the volume or I can deform all vertices and it'll kind of extrapolate anything that's outside of that uh, of that deformer. It'll kind of extrapolate what you want there. All right. Go ahead and reset all those control points. Now, if you don't get the resolution that you're looking for, if you want something a little bit higher res than what you're given with this 2 and 3 and 4 right here, you can also choose this FFD box and cylinder. So if I choose a box, it'll give me a box just like we had before, but I can actually come here under dimensions and set the number of points. So let's say I want 5 or 6, and I can customize that so that it's not the same in all directions. Okay, so maybe 6 by 6 by 4. Uh, so it's 4 in one direction and 6 in another. So you can really customize that. And again, you can go in and shape that if you want to. All right. We can also choose to uh, use a cylinder instead of a box. So we can go ahead and choose cylinder. You can see that uh, gets our cylinder there. We can go in, choose the lattice if we want to. If we want it to be more like that, we can go ahead and rotate that. And then we can come in and set the volume. You know, putting these in different positions. So depending on the object that you have, a cylinder might be a little bit better. Sometimes for eyes, I'll use a more of a cylinder shape and then modify that, uh, that shape as well. And again, you have the same sort of options down here that you have. You can also set the number of points. So you may be familiar with this as a lattice in other uh, software programs. In Maya, I think it's called, a, it's uh, definitely called a lattice. Uh, and you can see that it actually, you can see the lattice right here which you can actually choose but in max if you're looking for something like that it's actually the FFD in the modifier list is what you're going to want 
uh, don't choose the lattice. That's something a little bit different. All right, so uh, anytime you want to take a high resolution mesh and modify it using a low res sort of lattice or cage, make sure that you check out the FFD deformers here in 3ds Max.